why malayalam films are not winning in box office i thought that uh, janagana mana might triple r does it kgf does it pushpa does it the story should demand that can you think of any malayalam film in recent times which uh, goes in that category pill header why malayalam films are not winning in box office right now just because KGF or RRR or you know Pushpa did so well pan India box office wise. First of all, these films can't even be compared because they are made on such a scale and the content is supposed to be more massy. And I think the majority films that come from Kerala don't just uh, target mass. I think it, it's more content based than just what other uh, industries do. So I think that's one reason. And I I, I thought that uh, Janagana Mana might. Uh, have somewhere that kind of magic which the other two did but even there like maybe something to do with the the kind of superstars that probably tamil industry or uh, telugu or kannada now with rocky have have got like you know the superstardom as in uh, pan india if you would ask a layman in uh, delhi or some part of north india who is mamuti or mohanlal they might not know but right now they might know kgf or you know or bahubali or even rajamouli or anything and until they reach that kind of uh, they have that kind of reach i don't think they'll make that kind of box office money no it's also about uh, i feel marketing plays a huge role here. you need to have you need to pump in that kind of money to create a pan india presence janaganamana like i said you said no it had potential i also feel it had the potential but then it needs to be promoted in a very very larger scale you no, need that many screens also to do that collection the kind of, there was one show the kind of content it had i mean it 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 would have had a very polarizing views like because rrr and kgf they're just meant to be you know just uh, close your eyes and you are here to get entertained but janagana mana and films like that make you think and everybody doesn't That's want true. to watch that kind of films everybody just some some people just want to get entertained they don't they want to watch the, these brainless in, in case of janagana mana it's also because there's a lot of competition going on so there's anyways less number of screens but i th- i feel like see the simple thing is that the moment you want to reach to more people you have to you know cater to the lowest common denominator you have to make a film which is accessible understandable by like the you know basic and basic people living in india triple r does it kgf does it right. pushpa does it and you know p- films like pushpa kgf it it's not you know suddenly it happened it has been going on you know people love watching dub versions on youtube and on tv it yes. has been going on it suddenly yes. now transformed into uh, you know theater because what pushpa tried and kgf already you know made, made a big noise on ott when it came out it made big noise when it for the first one came out and chapter 2 all any movie right. with two we had so much hype does really well so but even then there's no comparison are- it's a, it, even then it's also important you can't just show anything on the name of catering that uh, lowest uh, denominator because uh, that we we saw with beast right it just tanked because there was way too much uh, stupidity and it didn't so. tank but okay <laughs> like they made money <laughs> yeah it it, it it made money actually it did make uh, but my point is that see even yeah. beast right they it was like a half big to create that bear yeah half big half big effort it was basically like at the end I, it was tamil movie until 2 months before the release so oh it's a pan india film so it doesn't work like that you have to plan it advance like rajamouli said you know that he writes his script sends it to the script writers for each language takes the script back and modifies the dialogue so the lip sync matches in each language how much effort is that of course the film will take so long that's why every language works so well you know even even with vikram i don't think they are Uh, you know, uh, uh, putting it out as a pan India film. It's it's only people who are thinking like, okay, this might be that uh, uh, Tamil answer to KGF and RRR. But uh, even with that trailer, I just felt that you know this this might be a blockbuster in Tamil Nadu. But outside of that, you know, uh, even in Kerala because of uh, Fahad's presence, but still outside of that, you know, how much people are excited about uh, Vikram. in north belt as much as they were for uh, rrr and kgf but yeah you know like okay. if you want to reach as i said again if you want to reach the biggest audience possible you have to make a film which that audience understand right for even janagana mana right it has a lot going on that an average person doesn't want to apply that much mind on you know yeah that's what i you know i made a video before also that the audience is so up to the you know standard where people in kerala can make these films and they'll be uh, appreciated you know there are films like that if you showed normal people like are boring what is this i just want want you know entertainment i want to right. put my mind off 
already everything is going you know haywire around me and to just freeze sure. my mind sure. and that's what i want to watch and i want to watch it again and again that's why kgf you know people are just watching it like five six times rr people are, i i watch rr three, uh, three times you know so okay. it's like so engaging you know to be transported to somewhere else and you have to inv- the story should demand that so, don't uh, have can, a story can, and you know put it on that oh now i'll put these things so it everyone enjoys it doesn't work like you, that can you think of any malayalam film in recent times which uh, goes in that category i think marakkar had that appeal but again it just maybe you know it could have been pitched a better way uh, it it was okay i think story wise also it was okay but if they had pitched it in a better uh, sense it would have done i think saira also at the same had the same feeling with saira and uh, marakkar both had that big vision but it was how you pitch the mm. movie and how it's understandable by common people like there in marakka there's a lot of things which as a non keralite i don't understand really well uh, the geography the dynamics uh, so i think right. that's that doesn't work in its favor but uh, yeah it's okay yeah i feel the dialogues need to be more simplistic in yeah. that way even like, though marakka had that pan india feel still i would say that in terms of the dialogues and all there was a lot of it that okay you had to concentrate that otherwise you'll miss the connections like bansali films right even bajira if you don't know about maratha empire and you know all of the, it it doesn't matter he it's, his it's, focus it his yeah. focus is on the love story and you know what he has to do as a the you know extending his empire and how is that interfering with the love and that's the basic that's what you have to focus on you don't have to set up oh this king maratha is doing this and that has to happen no it's just okay he's a great ruler he's a great warrior you know he wins wars and they now get into the main plot i want to show padmavat simple don't have to establish who khilji is where did he come from this is intro scene he is ruling he got to know about padmavat he is here to, done done just focus on main 